Well, the FBI is warning about an uptick in a scam that allows hackers to steal a ton of private information on your cell without ever laying hands on your actual phone. I'm 7 News consumer anchor Diane Lee, and I looked into how to protect yourself from SIM swapping. I wish we could go back to the old days with just flip phones. 15 years, that's how long Michael Guyton and Gaffney had the same cell phone number until one day in 2019 he will never forget. It's a normal day, look down at my phone, no service. I was trying to figure out what in the world's going on. Called my provider, couldn't even call my provider. Guyton says he wasn't late on his bill, but when he finally got a hold of his carrier, they said his number had been ported out. I lost my number, anything tied to that number. Anything with that phone number is gone. What did you think? I was sick because a few days later I had money missing. Guyton says his Direct Express account that he uses to pay for insulin was nearly drained. It might sound strange, but not to tech experts like Phil Yanoff in Greenville, who says this spring the same thing happened to his friend, a scam called SIM swapping. He had someone who was attacking his bank information who was so sophisticated, they went in and grabbed his phone number from him and then logged into his bank trying to do SMS verification against, but having another phone that was getting the text messages. The term SIM swapping comes from this SIM card, which connects your phone number to your account. But the scammers don't actually need to steal it. All they need is your phone number and some private information so they can call your carrier pretending they're you. The FBI says victims lost $68 million to SIM swapping in 2021, compared to just $12 million in the three-year period between 2018 and 2020. The founder of Scamicide, Steve Wiseman, says SIM swapping used to target celebrities, and now anyone is vulnerable. What would a scammer need in order to successfully pull this off? Not a lot, and that's the interesting thing, because it sounds like it's very complicated, but what the scammers do is, they call your carrier. They answer a uh, simple security question. Sometimes it may be, you know, what was your mother's maiden name? And then that allows them to pose as you and get the cell phone carrier to swap the SIM card into their card. Wiseman says you can protect yourself by setting up a PIN number with your carrier, requesting only in-person SIM card changes, and giving out a Google number to anyone other than close contacts. Take it from Guyton. Those extra steps are well worth it. They're not exactly stealing your phone, but whenever they steal your number, that's the beginning point they need to ruining your life. Once they steal your phone number, they can back their way into your account, they can get your sensitive information, and the next thing you know, you're gonna be having 30 Amazon orders that you didn't make, and they ain't going to your house. Yeah, believe it or not, Guyton says that actually happened to him after his number was taken. Fortunately, he could prove to Amazon that it was not his porch. By the way, the FBI is warning that one group of people who are especially vulnerable to this scam are people who deal in cryptocurrency because those digital wallets are highly coveted. For more on SIM swapping scams, just look for this story on my page at WSPA.com consumer.